What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another ad hoc video. Uh, in this video, we will be talking about dashboard prompts. So looking all the way back again to readiness and manning, if you remember those filters that are on your left hand side, um, giving users the ability to filter by any number of columns and then it displays your data. Those are dashboard prompts. OK, so that's what we're going to take a look at today. Uh, as always, I invite you to log into the live site and follow along with me. So now when we talk about prompts, there's two different types of uh, prompts that I can do within a dashboard. Dashboard prompt, and then there's also what is called inline prompts, which is what we're going to take a look at first. So within your analysis itself, directly next to your results tab, you have a prompts option. This option is what is known as inline prompts. Okay, it's going to embed the prompts into the analysis itself and force the user to filter it prior to getting any data in the dashboard. All right. Now, once you select the prompts page or tab, um, it's going to look like this. On your right hand side, you have an add button or a new button. So if you hit the drop down for that, you can add column prompts for those columns that already exist, or you can add more columns. So for this scenario, we're going to just add a couple of column prompts in my analysis. So we're going to add home UIC. Once you select the prompt, it's going to ask you what type of user input do you want? Do you want a text field, check boxes, radio buttons, or the most common one is going to be a choice list? Okay. And then you have your operator ID. So begins with, ends with, greater than, less than, equal to. We're just going to do equal to or is in and select OK. So now I have one prompt for my soldier home UIC. Let's go ahead and insert another one for rank. We'll stick with choice list and equal to. We'll add another one for grade we'll add one for employee id and i'll add one more for ets now with our ets dates since it's a date field not a text field i have the option to prompt the user which is preferable when we're dealing with dates. So if I select prompt user, that's going to force or give that user the ability to select the operator ID themselves. Do I want between? Do I want equal to is in? Do I want um, is not equal to whatever? It's going to give the user the option to select the operator themselves. Select okay. And I'm going to save. So now that this prompt is embedded into my analysis through an inline prompt, I'm going to go back to my dashboard and see what it looks like. I'm going to go to my dashboard. And you can see because it's an inline prompt, it's going to force the user to filter first before they get any data to come across. So I'm going to filter for UIC and I'm just going to pull Alpha Company over. Select OK. So now you can see all the data in my dashboard is based on Alpha Company, that one filter that I applied. All of my metrics are Alpha Company, all of my tables are Alpha Company. So those are inline prompts. We also have what are called dashboard prompts. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna go back to that retention report and delete my inline prompt. So 
I'm just going to get rid of all my inline prompts and go back to criteria. So dashboard prompts is a two-step process. The first step is any columns that I want to be prompted have to first be set within my analysis itself. So if you look at a column that you want to be prompted, meaning you want the user to be able to search it in the dashboard or filter it in the dashboard, hover over your toolbar and select filter. You'll notice that one of your filters or one of your operators in your filter is labeled is prompted. This is step one of creating a dashboard prompt. So it has to be linked to the prompt that we create here in a second. So step one is selecting my filter is prompted. I'll do home UIC. I'll do rank. We'll do grade. Employee ID. And ETS. Select OK and save. And real quick, I'm going to do the same thing to my restrictions report. So again, I'll do home UIC, rank, employee ID, and grade. Select save. So step one is complete. I've added my is prompted filters to both of my analysis. Now step two is creating the dashboard prompt itself. So if I hover over new, you should see dashboard prompt. It's going to ask you to select a subject area. I'm going to select current only. And this is the exact same format as our inline prompt. So I'm going to hover over new and we're going to create a column prompt. And I'm going to find the attribute columns that I selected is prompted in my analysis. Under basic soldier metrics, and I'm going to find my impl ID. I want soldier home UIC. Create one for soldier grade. Rank. And I'll do one more for our ETS date. So again, I'll prompt the user on that one since it's a date or calendar date field. And I'm going to save that dashboard prompt. So now that I've completed step one in my analysis, I've said is prompted on the columns that I want to be searchable. I've created my dashboard prompt in step two. Now I want to go to my dashboard and insert my prompt that I just created. So within my dashboard, I'm gonna select edit. And no different than when I dragged my reports or analysis into my content area, I'm going to do the same thing with my prompt 
and drag and drop it into my analysis. Now, if I hover over my settings for my prompt, your scope is what you want this prompt to cover. So if I only want this prompt to be good for this page, when I apply my filters, it's only going to filter data for that one page. Or the preferred way is to keep it selected on dashboard. So when I run this one prompt in this first page, it's going to filter the data for the entire dashboard. I'm going to save my dashboard and select run. Now I have my filters up here. We'll plug in the UIC. And I want to say my ETS is less than or equal to, we'll just do less than or equal to today. So give me this UIC and any expired ETSs. Select apply. So now you see alpha company, expired ETSs, ignoring all the other UICs. So this is a very good way to create products for um, your downtrace units or create products for a large group of people. You embed your analysis analysis within your dashboard um, and then you add your prompts, giving your users the ability to filter however they need to filter it. Right? Just make sure that you follow both steps. The column that you've selected in your dashboard prompt has to be linked within every analysis in your dashboard, otherwise it will not work. That link has to be there for the dashboard prompt to know what data to go out and grab. So that's all I have for you on this video about dashboard prompts. Hopefully you got something out of it. Uh, if you did, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, we are approaching the end of this video series. I do have um, a few ideas left on some videos, probably three or four videos left on some more advanced features of ad hoc, um, but we are approaching the end of the series. Uh, I do have um, my own advanced PME course coming up as well as being behind the podium directly after that. So I will be away for about the next six weeks, um, but just know that if you're following these videos, we're not done yet. As soon as I can get to the last couple of videos, I will be sure to do so and get those uploaded. So thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you next time. Defendant serve.